Philippine Army now buying guided 120mm mortar rounds and 105mm ammo for its vehicles. Please like and share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Here are some news related to the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines in the last several days. First off, the Philippine Army just released on their official website the bidding documents for the acquisition of 120mm caliber guided mortar ammunition for its newly acquired M125 tracked Cardon mortar carriers. The items to be acquired are 190 rounds of guided 120mm ammo, 20 programming kits for the ammunition and technical training for their personnel on the use of the ammo. The Philippine Army received 15 M125 Cardon mortar carriers last December 29, 2021, so in theory they will be able to equally allocate around 12 to 13 120mm guided rounds per vehicle if they want to. The budget is set at 210.3 million pesos, or 4.1 million United States dollars assuming an exchange rate of 51 pesos per dollar. The guided 120mm ammo is required to have a range of no less than 7 km, and must have an accuracy of 8 meters in terms of circular error probability or CEP, meaning at least half of the rounds must be capable of hitting within 8 meters of the target. The guided rounds must also have at least two guidance systems, a global positioning system or GPS, an inertial measurement unit or IMU, which is also known as inertial navigation system or INS. The submission and opening of bid envelopes is currently set for early next month, March of 2022. Delivery is set at 210 days or 7 months after the issuance of the notice to proceed. Next is that the Philippine Army also released on their website the bidding documents for the acquisition of 105mm caliber ammunition for their new Sabra vehicles. A total of 2,950 105mm rounds are to be acquired with a budget of 241.9 million pesos, or around $4.7 million in all. This breaks down to 82,000 pesos or $1,593 for each round. The Philippine Army is expecting the delivery of 20 Sabra Ascod light tanks within this year of 2022, and another 10 Sabra Panda II vehicles next year in 2023. So for the 30 Sabra vehicles, the Army can theoretically equally allocate around 98 to 99 105mm rounds per vehicle if they want to. The technical specifications calls for the 105mm ammo to be used for the MG105 SR gun of the Sabra vehicles. It must have range of at least 5 km and capable of releasing 4,000 fragments upon detonation. The ammunition type is to be High Explosive Tracer or HET with a point detonating fuse, meaning it is designed to explode upon impact. The submission and opening of bid envelopes is currently set also on the same day as that of the 120mm guided mortar rounds, which is early next month, March of 2022. Delivery is also set at 210 days or 7 months after the issuance of the notice to proceed. These are great news indeed, I hope that the bidding will be successful so that the Philippine Army's new weapons will finally be armed with new ammunition also. Thank you for watching the video, I invite you again to like and share it, and subscribe to the channel.